Hello, everybody. Welcome to live interactive English. I am Shane, and I am Nina. And today we're talking about making appointments, and this is part one. Okay. Well, I think you've you dressed pretty nice. It almost looks like you're going to be going out to like meet a client or something later. As a matter of fact, really? I am. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Because looking good. That's why I wanted to dress up a little bit more professional. Okay. I'm actually meeting up with this client. They want to rebrand, basically. So. I'm a graphic designer part time, as you know. Right, right. So、yeah. you, you do get clients, and you have to work with clients and、yeah. press clients. Yeah, but the thing is, I'm actually really nervous because this client has already worked with two or three different designers, and they didn't like the result. So they fired them. Yeah, that's a lot of pressure. It is. So they they're hoping that I will be their savior. <laughs> oh wow! So do you feel like you're up to the task? I think I can definitely deliver. Oh,、yeah. okay. But, but you must you be know, a little bit nervous.、Though. I am nervous. I think I can deliver like what peop- most people like, but maybe they're too picky, or maybe they want something a little bit extra.、Yeah. We'll see how it goes. So do you have a good presentation already? Yeah. Made up for them? Yeah, yeah. So、okay. we'll see how it goes. Well, we all wish her luck, right? Thank you.、Okay. Let's get into today's lesson. Jeremy and Sharon are wrapping up their meeting. Great work today, Sharon. I think we've found a direction that works for everyone. Thank you. I'm excited by the possibilities of the project and can't wait to get started. Let's set a date for a budget meeting. Would it be possible for you to come back on the eighth? How does two p.m. sound to you? Yes, the eighth at two sounds fine. Will we be meeting in this room again? That's a good question. I'm not sure actually, but someone will be in touch with the room number. Fantastic! Looking forward to it. Full speed ahead, as they say. Okay, so making appointments, part one, and in the first part, we're talking about arranging to meet a client. Yes. Okay, so first of all, what is a client?、So、a client is a person who uses the services or advice of a professional organization or a person. Oh, so it's kind of it's different than a customer, right? Right. So, for example, you could say our law office has over fifty clients,、mm-hmm. but it would be kind of odd to say our law office has over fifty customers. Yeah. Right. Right. So, client <laughs> versus customer. So we usually think of a customer as like someone who's like buying products,、mm-hmm. and oftentimes, so imagine Seven Eleven. You're、yeah. a customer there. But you might not come back tomorrow. You're going there to just to buy a small thing. Yeah. Right. So you're not. You would never call somebody a client of Seven Eleven. Yeah,、right? that doesn't make sense.、Right. That would just be odd. Yeah. Right. So if you're a client, basically you are somebody who's going to be somewhere long term. Yeah. And you're going to maybe be buying products, but it's more like you. Plan to be buying these products for a long time. You're going to have a relationship with this company. Yes. Right. So, what other、uh, examples is like、uh, you have a client? So, earlier you mentioned、um, at a law office, right? Yes. And then, like me, I'm providing a service of designing. So that I'm also I also have some clients.、Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. So moving on. So Jeremy and Sharon are wrapping up their meeting. So wrapping up their meeting、wrapping、doesn't mean like wrapping a. It's Christmas time. <laughs>、uh, wrap、no. up their meeting and give it to a client. No, I think in、no. this case it means to finish up, right? Exactly. Okay. Okay. So it's a conversation between Jeremy and, and Sharon. Sharon. So I begin. Great work today, Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> I think we found a direction that works for everyone. Okay. So, so a direction. They're walking that way. Yeah, I think we can walk <laughs> to the west. No, I think in this case it's just 
a way that they want to proceed in maybe whatever project they're working on, right? right. So basically we have a plan and mm -hmm. we're thinking about doing these things to reach our goal. So we're going in that direction, the mm -hmm. steps that we're going to take. Right? Yes, and Sharon says, thank you. I'm excited by the possibilities of the project and can't wait to get started. Ooh, excited mm. by the possibilities. Very. Okay. So let's set a date for a budget meeting. Mm -hmm. Would it be possible for you to come back on the 8th? Okay, so they set up a budget meeting. So in a budget yeah. meeting, yeah, so a meeting about budgets, right? So a budget is basically the amount of money that you are able to or planning to or want to spend. Okay. Yeah. So that could be a person, it could be an organization. Yeah, so right? for example, the cell phone was too expensive for Danny's budget. So maybe he had a budget of 10,000 NT. No, well, we but can't buy an iPhone for 10,000 yeah. NT. So, sorry. <laughs> so, you can say that's out of my budget, right? Right. Or you can say it's within my budget to maybe buy something like a mid range smartphone or right? a Xiaomi phone. Okay. Yeah. So, he asked, would it be possible for you to come back on the 8th? So, obviously, the 8th here meaning the 8th day of the month. Yes. Whichever day of the month that is. How does 2 p.m. sound to you? Okay, so they want to have a budget meeting. They want to meet and talk about how much money they are willing to or are able to spend, right? Right. So exactly. they are making a plan ahead to meet on the 8th of whichever month. Right, so if you say, how does that sound to you? You just mean, is, is that okay? Is yeah. that, is that, that, that good? How does that sound? Sounds good. Yeah, okay. Not bad. Okay. okay. So Sharon says, yes, the 8th at 2 sounds fine. Will we be meeting in this room again? Okay. Okay. So they ha probably in a meeting room, and she wants to know if they are meeting in the same place. Okay, that's a good question. I'm not sure actually, but someone will be in touch with the room number. Okay, so maybe it's a big office with assigned rooms, right, for meetings. Uh, okay, right. So it could be in a different one next time, but someone will be in touch with the room number. They're not going to be in touch. With in the touch. room <laughs> no. number, actually I'll be in touch with you yes. about which room number it's e going to be in. Exactly. Right? And Sharon says, fantastic. Looking forward to it. Full speed ahead, as they say. Okay, uh, okay so full speed ahead. They're going super fast. Right. So you can imagine, okay, so if you're like on a, on a boat, for example, this is when you would probably originally have heard this saying mm -hmm. when you say full speed ahead it means you're going to go to the top speed and move forward in other words you're not really going to be hesitating mm -hmm. or worried about some obstructions you're ready to just go straight ahead yeah right okay so as they say here just means this is a saying yeah so we have a vocabulary word fantastic 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 so fantastic just means very good yeah. right or, so you could say a lot of different things you could say instead of very good. You could say fantastic. You could say excellent. excellent. Amazing. Right? Awesome. <laughs> so many words. Superb. Wonderful. Terrific. Yes. Right? There's like so many ways to say very good in English. So I think if you want to increase your vocabulary and sound more like a native speaker, mm -hmm. you could think of different ways to say common things that we mm, say. Yeah. Right? Oh, and splendid. Yeah. So <laughs> fantastic is a good word. So for example, you could say that restaurant serves fantastic food. Ooh. Right? They serve wonderful food, amazing food, marvelous food, right? Mm -hmm. Lots of different ways to say it. All right, so now that we've learned more about customers and clients and how to arrange a meeting, let's talk more about it after the break. Fantastic. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。这一次的绘画主题是关于约定时间。那第一段绘画是要与客户安排见面时间。Jeremy 和 Sharon 他们的会议似乎进行得很顺利，已经找到适合大家的方向。那么在结束会议之前，有敲定了预算会议的日期，是在八号的下午两点。Jeremy 说，目前啊还不确定会不会使用同一间会议室，但是有人会来联系告诉他们会议室号码。我们来看看单字 client，client Client, 它表示客户。顾客或是委托人，那么 budget 它是指预算是个名词。再来文中它用到 wrap up， 
在这边不是要去包礼物、包东西的意思哦，它是表达使结束啊、完成那种意思。像我们说 wrap up the meeting 就是指结束会议。好，那接着我们看到 Sharon 回答说 ，Fantastic, looking forward to it. Full speed ahead, as they say. 好极了，我很期待。就像俗话说的，全速前进吧。那我们来看看 fantastic 这个形容词，就是形容极好的、了不起的或是奇妙的。老师们也有提到一些意思相近的形容词，像 awesome, a w e s o m e. Awesome 是形容令人赞叹的、非常棒的。还有呢 ，superb 就是在 super 后面加一个 b 变成 superb， 就是一流的、极好的。还有 splendid，s p l e n d i d，splendid 可以形容壮丽的，可是它也可以形容极好的、出色的。好，再来我们看到 look forward to 加上名词或动名词，可以表达期待什么什么。那文中他说 looking forward to it， 前面就是省略了 i am， 这样是一个口语的用法。好，再来看到 full speed ahead， 就是全速前进，以最快啊、最有活力的方式来进行。Shane 老师刚刚说，在全速前进的时候，你不会犹豫或者是去担心一些阻碍。这时候老师用到 obstruction 这个字 ，o b s t r u c t i o n， obstruction 就可以表达阻碍啊、妨碍或者是障碍物。好，接下来课文中。Jeremy calls Sharon. Hello, this is Sharon. Hi, Sharon. It's Jeremy. I have some bad news about our meeting on the eighth. Unfortunately, I'm afraid something has come up. So I was hoping we could reschedule the meeting. Certainly, that's no problem at all. Did you have a date in mind? I do. Why don't we aim for the tenth at the same time, two p.m. That works for me. I've got a room number this time, room C one one two. Perfect. Can't wait to hash out the details. Me too. Thanks, and talk to you soon. Welcome back, everybody. So, in the first part, we were talking about scheduling a meeting with a client. Now, in this part, we're going to be talking about rescheduling <laughs> a meeting. So, it looks like something has changed. Yeah. So, in the first part, they actually scheduled a meeting, arranged a meeting、yeah. after they decided on a direction. Right, and the direction's they, good. Yeah. Everyone's on the、uh, everyone's on the same page. Yeah.、Right? So they agree on something and they set a date and time、mm -hmm. where they were going to meet to have a budget meeting. They weren't、right? really sure which room they were going to meet in, but basically, if anything changes, they would contact Sharon and let her know about any changes. Right? Yeah. Okay. So that brings us to Jeremy calls Sharon. Okay. Hello.、So. Sharon says, "Hello, this is Sharon." Hi, Sharon. It's Jeremy. I have some bad news about our meeting on the eighth. Unfortunately, I'm afraid something has come up. So I was hoping we could reschedule the meeting. Hmm. Okay. okay so they have to reschedule. Bad news. Something came up. Yes.、Yeah, so they said, "Unfortunately, I'm afraid something has come up." Unfortunately, you use when something happens that. Is sad or disappointing, right? right? Or has a bad effect.、Right. So when you say "fortunately," is something good happened, right? right? Like so, it sounds like there's good luck or something, right? Yeah. So for example, unfortunately, my teacher wouldn't accept my paper because it was late. Okay. okay. So of course, if you're going to be changing times, rescheduling a meeting, you don't know that really could affect somebody's personal schedule. Yes. So that's pretty unfortunate that things had to get changed because something came up. Something comes up、yes. that just means that something happened that we weren't expecting or anticipating. Yes. Right. Continuing, Sharon says, "Certainly, that's no problem at all." Did you have a date in mind? Okay, so it's okay. You know, we have to reschedule.、Mm -hmm. Do you have a different time or day that you want to do this meeting? Right. So if you have a date in mind or something in mind. It just means that you already have an idea、yeah. or some kind of a plan. Or、like、you thought about it. You've already thought about it, right? So Jeremy says, "I do. Why don't we aim for the tenth at the same time, two p.m.? 
Okay, so he's trying to reschedule for two days later, right? right? What does he mean by, well, well, we, why don't we aim for the 10th mm -hmm. at the same time? Like an arrow? Exactly. Like <laughs> You're aiming for something, just means that's You're the, hoping, right? Right, that's the goal. So yes. he's kind of giving the impression here that you never know. Things might still change. Yeah. I think if I were Sharon, I might feel a little bit like, oh, okay. Yeah. We're just aiming for that, but it's not <laughs> certain. Yeah, it's right. like when uh, I have plans with my friends and we say we're going to arrive like at a certain time, they'll say, oh, let's aim, aim for one, but they always end up coming at 1.30 or right. almost 2 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, if you're going to make a date with somebody and you're like, yeah. okay, let's meet at 12, and you're like, okay, I'll, I'll aim to be there at 12, you'll start to feel like, <laughs> what, what do you mean you'll aim to be there at 12? It's kind of like you'll just try and you won't do. Right. Yeah, you could say let's try for yeah. that time as exactly. well, right? Okay. So Sharon says, that works for me. Okay. So Jeremy says, I've got a room number this time. <laughs> Last time he wasn't sure which room number, yes. right? Room C112. Okay. Oh, that's a good room. Oh, sounds nice good. Nice and big. It's <laughs> lots of equipment. I think they even have, like, what is, what's that called? Projection. Projector. Okay. Projector, right. And Sharon says, perfect. Can't wait to hash out the details. Hash out the details. What does that mean? So if you hash something out, it means you're going to talk about it, discuss it, to try to reach an agreement. Mm. So you're hashing out details. I mean, we have all these details. Let's discuss them and try to come to an agreement ah. about what to do. Yeah, for example, if I'm going on a trip with my friend on the weekend, yeah. I can say, oh, maybe we should go here, we should go here, and we agree on that, but we don't know exactly what we're going to do on each day. Right, like what we're going to have for lunch, you know, yeah. what time we're going to start hiking up the mountain, Exactly. So it's not that important. So we can hash out the details later. Exactly. Okay. So Jeremy says, me too. Thanks and talk to you soon. All right. All right. So it looks like they got that, that meeting scheduled. Rescheduled. <laughs> Rescheduled. And Hopefully nothing else comes up, right? Yeah. We'll see how it goes then. Okay. We'll see you guys later. That's all the time we have for today. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs>在第二段绘画里面 Jeremy打电话给Sharon说 很遗憾关于8号的会议我有坏消息恐怕我有点事希望将这个会议来改期好单字unfortunately这个副词啊它就表示遗憾或者是不幸地怎么样怎么样那么reschedule这是表达重新安排什么的时间那它就是由这个字
Jeremy and Sharon are wrapping up their meeting. Great work today, Sharon. I think we've found a direction that works for everyone. Thank you. I'm excited by the possibilities of the project and can't wait to get started. Let's set a date for a budget meeting. Would it be possible for you to come back on the 8th? How does 2 p.m. sound to you? Yes, the 8th at 2 sounds fine. Will we be meeting in this room again? That's a good question. I'm not sure, actually. But someone will be in touch with the room number. Fantastic. Looking forward to it. Full speed ahead, as they say. Jeremy calls Sharon. Hello, this is Sharon. Hi, Sharon. It's Jeremy. I have some bad news about our meeting on the 8th, unfortunately. I'm afraid something has come up, so I was hoping we could reschedule the meeting. Certainly. That's no problem at all. Did you have a date in mind? I do. Why don't we aim for the 10th at the same time? 2 p.m.? That works for me. I've got a room number this time. Room C112. Perfect. Can't wait to hash out the details. Me too. Thanks, and talk to you soon. When visitors come to Wanjing Yiyuan, they will first be greeted by a nostalgic front gate with a classical garden look. After walking inside, visitors are welcomed by three towering Chinese junipers. The trees have more than a hundred years of history and were moved here from the guest house of Chiang Kai-shek on Fushou San. The mountain Chinese junipers are taller and stronger than regular flat ground ones. The other trees in the park also have a history of decades or even a hundred years. Most of them are valuable trees endemic to Taiwan with a high historical value. When visitors walk to Ningbo Bridge and the mountain and water section, they can see a hexagonal pavilion, waterfall, bridge, and other landscaping features. It is done in the Jiangnan Garden style with small bridges over flowing waters. The water of the ecological pond is very clear and there are diverse aquatic plants on the bottom. The pond is home to many species. There are over 20 different kinds of fish. They form an ecosystem with the aquatic plants and the floating lotuses embodying the beauty of nature. Across from the ecological pond is the expo section for cycads and potted plants. The cycads here have a history of over 100 years. Every fall, when the golden flowers of the cycads are blooming, it is quite a spectacle. The cycad is a symbol of longevity and wealth. In feng shui, the plant is said to turn a misfortune into a blessing. Therefore, it is an ideal houseplant. The potted plant expo section is also a must-see attraction at the park. Meticulously collected potted plants are displayed on fossil wood or stone. Some of them are even masterpieces that have received awards. Inside the park are also Ashoka trees, which are very rare in Taiwan. In Buddhism, the Ashoka is considered a sacred tree. It is said that the birth of the Buddha took place under an Ashoka tree. When you walk around Wanjing Yiyuan, you'll find the big garden is full of surprises.